<laughs> well, well, well. Top 10 players who abandon their team. But I can tell you one person I know is going to be on here. One person we all know is going to Matter of fact, he damn near need to be number one. He definitely need to be in the top five. Kevin Durant. Everybody else, I have no fucking idea. That's why we're watching this video. But Kevin Durant got to be top five. Let's just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my rant and critiques about Durant and everybody on this list until we see everybody Hey, first. what's happening, you guys? I love basketball, so I made an excuse to make a top 10 video about basketball, so I hope you guys All enjoy right. it. So this right here is the top 10 players who have abandoned their team. Okay. So let's not waste any time here. Let's, let's get right not. into it. Let's start us off let's in a number nine. We have Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony was the third pick overall in the first round in 2003, just behind LeBron James and Darko Milic. Carmelo was drafted to yeah, the Denver Nuggets. His career in Denver lasted from 2003 but to Carmelo's 2004. All about the there was a conflict on the team and Carmelo wanted out. He wanted to play for a team that can contend for a championship. Which so that's he, never he requested did. a trade. So himself and Chancey Billups were sent to the New York Knicks where they had a promising team, but since 2011, eh, nothing has happened. No, Next up on all. this list is an NBA champion, Will Chamberlain, and he comes onto this list mm. at number nine. He is a seven foot one center who entered the NBA back in 1959. He played for the Philadelphia Warriors, so he who was is now the Golden State time, Warriors. So I never Will Chamberlain even is the only player in NBA history to have scored a 100 points in a single NBA game. No one has even come close to that mark. Kobe Bryant did score 81 points against the Toronto Raptors. Alright, so now we're pointing out side. literally the most... That's the closest anyone's ever gotten. The most obvious shit away. in the world. Still a lot. Will Chamberlain was one of the most dominant NBA players from his time. So in 1965, when he was traded to the 76ers, this came as a shock. He was actually one of the highest paid players back then, earning about $30,000 a year. I know there's inflation, but even with that inflation, that $30,000 today would be worth around 240 dollars thousand dollars a year which is pretty decent but compared to the NBA contracts these days that's nothing. Okay, so That's Kevin Garnett nothing. disappointed right, yeah. and shocked a lot of his fans when he decided it was time to take his career somewhere else that wasn't in Minnesota. So he comes into number eight. Garnett was drafted fifth Garnett, overall in yeah. the first round to the Timberwolves. He wasn't. He, he was there an absolute monster Which is a span of 12 years. He but was a monster. But that dedication soon was over. But he had this to get that was a ring. huge shock and it was a seven for one deal, which constitutes as the largest Damn. number of players traded in a single transaction in the history. When okay, so I didn't know that so that makes me actually glad that I watched this video because at first you were talking about Will Chamberlain 100 point Kobe 81 point you're pointing out obvious shit that actually I didn't know 7 for 1 deal for Garnett that's a lot of motherfuckers 7 for 1 Kevin Garnett left Minnesota Damn. the team was 32 and 50 which is a horrible record in the NBA so Kevin Garnett wanted to win so Boston was his best chance the same year he was traded to Boston they actually won a championship beating out the Los Angeles Lakers 4 to 2 sorry about that Kobe Bryant Okay, moving into number seven, Man, we have the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. He is said to be one of the most dominant big men in high school basketball and, of course, in the NBA. The most Later in his career, he chased championships, time. but to I begin his career, fans thought he was dedicated to one team, and that was Orlando Magic, the team he was drafted to. He was drafted in 1992, first overall, but four years later, with no championships, he made the big move to team up with superstar Kobe Bryant to try to win a championship. So when Shaquille was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant actually wasn't a superstar that was his rookie year so no one guessed that these two can dominate the game of basketball despite upsetting fans of Orlando Shaquille went on to win four championships three of them with the Lakers uniform he won three years in a row he treated with was trying to be a winner I am mad at him in 2002 all with Kobe Bryant number six is Oscar Robinson Oscar right now is 77 years old and he was nicknamed the big O for many reasons because of his many accomplishments in the NBA he was Trip a dubs. time all-star and he was Fuck the only person in yeah. history to average Never a triple that. double for a season. His whole career he also defined the odds of a black man doing good in a professional sport. He was drafted back in 1960. Oh, he yeah, was selected was by the ago. Cincinnati Royals which is that now the Sacramento ago. Kings. Oscar e, played as point guard for e, the team so for 10 years from 1960 to 1970. His big move to Milwaukee was huge. This move actually stunned the basketball world Swole and there's still a mystery to the actual reason to the big trade. The second year being on Milwaukee Milwaukee, they won a championship and this was his first and only NBA championship so for him personally great move for fans it was really shocking <laughs> moving on to practice really, still a triple double in the season practice? that's amazing this has become a all right what the what the oh no I know he didn't know I know he did oh oh what the f 
fuck was that? I, oh no, I wanna walk off, but I gotta see it one more time. Did y'all just hear what he just, oh no. Oh no, he didn't just, no he didn't. Okay, moving on to practice. Really, we talking about practice? Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I can't do this. I can't do it. <sighs> okay. Do I even want to? I hardly even want to hear this again, but let's just hear this bullshit. Yeah. So for him, personally, great move. For fans, it was really shocking. Okay, moving on to practice. Really? We talking about practice? This has become a very famous interview by Allen Iverson, who has caused a lot of controversy in the NBA. Good controversy and negative controversy. He comes onto this list at number five. Allen Iverson was drafted in 1996, first overall by Philadelphia. Well, As 10 years be. later, 2006, things wasn't working out with him and his coaches, so he decided to go on the move. He partnered up alongside superstar Carmelo Anthony. And this is in Denver, they was and they're supposed to win lit. a lot of titles they together, were, they but were. this never happened. They so we were. get a request to be traded to Mello was After leaving Philly, Allen Iverson the fuck just happened? couldn't figure himself out anymore, and no team wanted to take him on as a starting player. Not wanting to come off the bench from any team, he decided to retire early. Number four is Michael Jordan. I'm mad at him. Bulls. He's like, nigga, I'm the go. What the fuck y'all think? Fuck in the draft thought this Chicago is. Bulls. He was drafted in 1984 and played till 1993 with the Bulls, but something tragic happened in his life. His father, James R. Jordan Sr., was murdered in his car and his car was actually stolen from him. This was a tragic story that took the world by storm. Michael Jordan couldn't handle his death, so he retired from basketball. Later, he played baseball to honor his father who loved the sport, but then he realized, you know what? This was actually wasn't for him. His passion, his calling is basketball. So in 1995, Jordan came back on the Bulls and he won three championships back to back to back. It was incredible from 1996 to 1998. Again in 1999, Jordan decided to retire. In 2001, he announced that he would be coming back to the sport, but it shocked the world when he decided to not come back in a Bulls uniform, he actually came back as a Washington Wizard. Dwayne Wade is up yeah, next on this list, that. and this one is a recent shock, but it's a big one, and it's unexpected, and I still can't take this one in. Dwayne Wade has just decided to leave his team Miami Heat to join the Chicago Bulls. Does he know that Michael Jordan is no longer on that team? This move has had a lot oh, yes. of questions around it, and rumors have it that he's already regretting his decision to to be with the Chicago Bulls. He went after the money. Wade was picked fifth overall and he played for Miami his whole life since 2003. He knows Wade's from Chicago. Yet. Another really big shock that happened and this could have been at number one. But we're talking about Kevin Durant. He came really close. That to definitely should have been number one. I mean, that's the ultimate goal in the NBA. You want to win the biggest award in you the NBA. You choked in 3-1, pussy. You get to hold up after you win four games. And you got smoked in the finals by LeBron. Other team in the NBA. You're a Durant joke. Durant is still pretty young, 27 years old. But he wants to be the main contributor to a championship BBA team. BBA it is. an old veteran on a team who's just on the team just to pick Not up a championship. Not a better playing his whole career in Oklahoma. He decided to do what was Ugly best ass. for him. Which is play for the Golden State Warriors. They have become a favorite to win next season although oh, some might you argue don't, you that don't think. Cleveland might be a favorite but I'm thinking it's Golden State oh yeah oh he's thinking it's Golden State guys he thinking it's Golden State the dude that went really we talk about practice he thinking Golden State okay thanks for your input dude that we don't even fucking know how you even are even have any relation to sports like do you even fucking know what you're fucking like have you ever even fucking played fucking bad have you ever been on a fucking best Time to take our talents to self speech. This speech has become iconic, and as soon as this speech was said, people started wow, to Wow, LeBron's number one. Now I'm talking about really? LeBron James. Wow. Hands down, my wow. favorite player in the NBA, but his decision oh, to oh, leave oh. his hometown oh. that drafted him, that being Cleveland, it upset a lot of fans. He decided that but he, he came back and chance at winning a title. He came and back and won. Chris Bosch and Dwayne How is his number Miami. one? And well, that's what happened. Durant never, ne Durant never won. Durant left and didn't win. LeBron came back and won. What do we talk? That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, I'm at yeah, I'm angry. Alright, just leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you know we do this every day. We ain't miss a day yet. When I miss a day time, so I'm drop more ideas. Well to me to me Instagram too. Nah, I'm not fucking mad. They really just made LeBron. Nah, I'm fucked!
explosive. I mean, he's got. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's going to the corner. Oh shit. Here comes the first one. Here comes the first one. 